Hello everyone, Simon here from Super Nerds Gaming and I am back for another retro pickup video. This time I went into cash converters and I talking some weeks ago now because this is quite an old pickup and uh, when I went in the guy who's behind the counter knows me watches these videos and that and he was like whoa I've got something here for you and I was like oh instantly excited that I was going to get some retro goodness and he brought out a stack of Mega Drive games with some loose some N64 and other stuff and I was just like I'll have that 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 and that uh, you know really quickly uh with cash converters though they do check online so you know some of your prices are going to be you know either like near CEX prices or just under it's never just the same but it's always worth checking out so here's the bag here um, and it has quite a lot of games in so we'll just start from the top and go from there. So first one is Snake Rattle and Roll. And this is from Ray. Now this was the most priciest game in there at $24.99. And um I just don't I don't see it often. I don't think I've seen it very often in um game expos or uh, game you know markets. So I was like, you know what, it's there, I'll take it. And I love the cover. The cover looks great, really colourful and bright. Um, it is complete in box, I believe. It's been a while since I've checked them. Yeah, complete in box. There we go, better view. Um, so I'm looking forward to diving into that and seeing how that plays. It, you know, if you know, if you've got it, if you've played it, let me know, put it in the comments down below. Um, next game we've got is Zoop. Now I do own this um cartridge only and I seen it there and it was only four ninety nine so it was like yeah I'll get that it's a it's a nice little puzzle game it doesn't get mentioned a lot um but it is really fun puzzle game to play as you can see on the back there and I think this is another one that is complete in box but I think five pounds probably what it's worth anyway so yeah zoop. Uh, next game we've got is Krusty's Super Fun House. Um, I do have this on the SNES, and I think I might have this cartridge only on my Mega Drive collection. Um, but on the SNES, I don't have any instructions, so I remember I tried to play it, and I was like, what am I doing? What should I be doing? But from what I believe, it's kind of like a Lemons game, and this was $14.99, but again... We're talking from this has got to be from a collector that you know kept this stuff in good nick because it is complete in box. And um, I'm always down for a Simpsons game, even if it's a bad one. I know I'm sorry, but I'm always going to pick up a Simpsons game, right? We've got two games left now, and these are Genesis games. So we're going across the pond with uh, Genesis, and we have Batman Forever. Um, you know what? I'm just going to say it now. I'm not a big fan of this red kind of tag on these Genesis games. I do like how the Mega Drive games look with either, you know, the black grid one or the, uh, when I can grab it, the blue. Yeah, but not a big fan. But um, I thought, you know what? It, it, it adds into my Mega Drive collection. So I picked that up and it was only 3 99 which um, I feel like it's a bargain, even though it's not a really good game, because it gets it gets some flack. This again, it's a complete unboxing. Again, this is another thing that I find weird: is our game manuals are on the side. These are you know top up. Um. So yeah, we got Batman Forever. I was gonna say Batman and Robin then. No, that's a pricey game. Um. And my last game is The Lion King fantastic game it gets really hard really quickly though um and this was 7.99 and if you look at it there i've got my receipt there actually put into the box and we have the manual and cart just completely lost track of what i was saying then um but this is a really nice case apart from this but um yeah i think this might be a nicer case than the pal version I'll have to check. I'm not too sure. So this did cost um, altogether when I'm not knocking stuff over. You know, so professional, so professional. 
Uh, this was £61 altogether, uh, which is, you know, quite high, but it was a lot of Mega Drive games that I did need for the collection because I am trying to hunt down the games that I don't have in my collection now. There's some stupid ones that I don't have, like I did pick up Shinobi the other day, and the only reason I've not picked it up properly because I had it on the Mega Cart. So the likes of Golden Axe I need to go find. I have Golden Axe 2. I don't have Golden Axe 3. I know that's quite pricey, like Streets of Rage 3, but maybe not as pricey. But yeah, um, what did you think of my Mega Drive haul? Let me know. Put it in the comment section down below. Always love talking to you guys. And as always, I will catch you next time.